this is a sneak peek of my Daniel Smith Ultimate Mixing Set unboxing. So I first found out about this set from Doodle Wash way back in July, and I've been avidly stalking Daniel Smith ever since. In fact, at Hands-On Creativity at the end of October, I asked the rep when they were going to have it, and he said in about two weeks, and um, I've been kind of stalking Plaza and Dick Blick, and finally they listed it, and I ordered it, I guess about two weeks ago, it took two weeks to come in. So here it is, this is what we're going to look at today. This set comes minimally packaged, it's just in a cardboard box with some tape dots on the side. Go ahead and get those undone. And it lists, I got the ultimate mixing set and I paid about $74. You can check the description below for um, not only links to where you can get your own if you're interested in this, but for an accurate price. But I think I paid $74 for the Ultimate 60 Mixing Set, which has 15 colors and then comes with an empty half pan case. And those of you who watched my hands-on creativity haul video, I've already kind of talked about this a little bit. So on the side of the box is a list of the colors. We have Jane's Gray, Raw Umber, Indian Red, Burnt Sienna, Gothite, which is a Brown Ochre, Thalo Green, Blue Shade, Thalo Blue Green Shade, Cerulean Blue, Ultramarine Blue, Quinacridone Rose, Permanent Alizarin Crimson, Pyro Scarlet, Quin Gold, Hansa Yellow Medium, and Buff Titanium. So inside we have two small containers. This is the empty mixing set. I believe I have to push in the middle to open it. Oh, he showed me in person and now I can't get it. So I'll have to mess with that a little bit later. Now these are hand filled at the Daniel Smith manufacturing plant. Unfortunately for me, these have sat outside in the cold. They were delivered after um, two o'clock was which was when I checked for the mail and they've been poured three times and all of the colors in this set are Specially picked and specially formulated for their reworkability. So Unlike with our Mayan blue. We shouldn't have any problems with these not activating it says Very streamlined I like that while they're attractive, they're not like overly engineered. The money really went to the paints rather than to everything that went with the paints. I've got it figured out. We actually start from the sides. And ta-da! So this does not include a foam inset like some paint, paint uh, sets do, and that's just to protect the paints in transit. Although they sat outside, they seem to have come to no ill effects. And this is our empty palette, which we can fill with our own watercolors of choice. There's nothing holding these half pans in, so they're not held in by magnets, and they will flop out if you turn the pan, the palette upside down while they're in there. So let's say it get like your dog, right, runs by and knocks your table, they will go somewhere. So you might want to spend a moment to glue magnets to them, which would definitely make them stick out a lot, or just use some washi tape to tape them down into their slots. So that is our half pans. They have been filled all the way up and you guys may have noticed in some of my videos when I fill half pans they often dry a little scant so this one was filled all the way and it dried pretty scant so these are triple filled
So this is just a preview video. I am going to include some clips from the swatching, but if you're looking for the full review with my opinion of how these half pans handle, you're just going to have to watch the full video to find out. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this sneak peek and I hope you guys will enjoy the swatches as well.